Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CRON. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame thing as a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis yesterday and I've been doing it on a pretty routine basis. So that's where all the green and red line annotations are coming from. But before anything else, just gonna do a little house cleaning here and get rid of these lines. Sure, they still pertain, they're just not really relevant. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing confusion because there's clutter with lines everywhere you look. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. The first update though that does need to be made comes about based on a foundational rule in charting which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. And as somebody that loves charts, this just brings a tear to my eye. Talk about from theory to reality. Like I said, this was an area of support and you can see that level of support was broken right there. And then as a rule states, that you know the support tends to act as resistance and you can see earlier in the morning where did the price get rejected from on the bounce back up right there at that level and you know if you don't think that I had that line there originally I'm not offended all you got to do is go back to September 20th watch the video from the archive and you'll see I put that line right in there so that's just and I'm not patting myself on the back but I am patting charts on the back because charts are definitely a great tool that everybody should consider uh, learning how to, to use uh, for their trading but Point pair being, as I went off on the tangent, with any sort of bounce in the shorter term, you know, right around the thirteen dollar mark, twelve ninety, if you want to be exact, uh, is going to be that initial area of resistance. And on top of that, you kind of have a double whammy because you also have this purple line here, the fifty period, um, and that just follows that same rule. When levels of support are broken, they you know tend to act as resistance. So you have two of those levels of resistance basically right on top of themselves right there. Now in the very short term, and this was kind of. And this is definitely not a you know a great discovery on my part. A lot of people are going to be watching this level, and that's right here at about twelve dollars and thirty cents. That's essentially where the price stopped going down today. Um, and you know next week, a lot of people watching that line, shorts included, uh, and they're they're thinking because it's a very rational thing. Well, if that level cannot hold, price could very well head down to eleven fifty, which at the time of right now is the per, uh, that uh, two hundred period simple moving average, that pink line right there. So definitely, uh, you know, if this level here does not hold, it would not be shocking at all to see the price go down to at least 1150, if not lower. But as things stand right now, you know, it, it, if you wanted just to very summarize it, channel pattern in the, on the 30 minute, that's essentially what happened throughout the course of the entire day. Top of the channel 1290, bottom of the channel 1230. Now it's a grab your popcorn type situation and let's see how the price plays out on Monday. Hey. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.